All right, guys, this is going to be a quick video to uh, give you a rough overview of the joints, okay? So starting off with the shoulder joint here, okay? So right across the front is this really broad ligament known as the glenohumeral ligament covering the glenoid cavity in the front, okay? Then we have the coracoacromial ligament, coracoacromial ligament. So it's going to connect from the coracoid process to the acromion, coracoacromial ligament front to back. Coracoclavicular ligament is going to connect from the coracoid process to the clavicle. So you just trace it. Coracoid process to the clavicle, coracoclavicular. Then we have the acromioclavicular ligament. So the acromioclavicular is attaching from the acrom acromion to the clavicle. So that's this nice broad one over the top there. That's the acromioclavicular ligament. That's going to be it for the shoulder joint. So then we're going to move on to the elbow joint. Elbow joint is very simple, what we need to know. Okay, first thing I do is I check the bones. I'm like, this is the humerus. And then I'm like, mm, this is the ulna. See it going into the backside, form that hinge joint. And then you can see the uh, radius on this side. Okay, so the radial collateral ligament is going to have vertical striations going down the side right here connecting the humerus to the radius that's the radial collateral ligament going across the other side once you've made sure it's the ulna this vertical striations right here that's going to be your ulnar collateral ligament ulnar collateral ligament and then going across the neck of the radius is going to be this horizontal striations known as the annular ligament specifically it's the annular ligament of the radius but the text just says annular ligament so it's this horizontal striations. The other two collateral ones had vertical striations, and that's it for the elbow. Then we're going to jump into the hip, okay? We're going to get hip. So we have the iliofemoral ligament. So the iliofemoral ligament, you can see it right here coming down from the ilium. It looks like it has two heads, okay? It's coming down from the ilium on the front side, specifically the anterior... Um, inferior iliac spine right below it you have these two pieces this is the iliofemoral ligament feeding into the femur next we have the pubofemoral ligament which is going to attach from the pubis right here so the pubofemoral ligament is coming from the superior ramus of the pubis you see it right there pubofemoral ligament leading straight to the femur so that's your pubofemoral ligament so behind it was the iliofemoral ligament. Then on the back side, on the back side, I find the ischial spine, and then I trace, and that's the ischiofemoral ligament feeding into the femur. Okay, ischiofemoral. That's the only one that you can see on the back side really well. Okay. Next, we're going to jump into the knee joint. This has the most terms. Okay. So we're going to start off with the medial and lateral meniscus terms. Okay. How can I tell medial from lateral? I look at the bones. So here's the fibula. Here is the tibia. Tibia is medial. Fibula is lateral. That top bone is the femur. Okay. So these two pieces right here, these see these white pieces? This is going to be um, on the side facing towards the fibula. So this is the lateral meniscus. Then it narrows in right here. And this piece on this side is going to be the medial meniscus on its own more towards the tip the further side of the tibia medial meniscus and lateral meniscus then we jump into the t quadriceps tendon so the quadriceps tendon you see this long piece right here okay so hidden in the back it is the patella so from your quadriceps muscle until it hits the patella that's the quadriceps tendon and then once it hits the patella below it that's the patellar ligament connecting the patella to the tibia at the tibial tuberosity. Then we have the anterior cruciate ligament and uh, posterior cruciate ligament. So on the front side of it, you have you see that thin little ligament running diagonal across the front. That's the anterior cruciate ligament or your ACL. Don't put ACL on the test. Most people mark that wrong. Then on the back side, you can see these diagonal pieces running down the back. This is the posterior cruciate ligament. Posterior cruciate ligament. Once again, going diagonal, but down the backside. Posterior cruciate ligament. Then you have your 
tibiocollateral ligament, which is connecting the tibia to the femur, and it's really thick, tibial collateral ligament, or you could put medial collateral ligament. Then on the lateral side, connecting the fibula to the femur, is the skinnier fibular collateral ligament or lateral collateral ligament. And that concludes the joint section. Good luck, you guys.